Hello everyone, and welcome back to another game of StarCraft 2. This replay was sent to me by a user on my Discord server. It is a Silver League replay. The user who sent this in to me said this was the first, I believe this was a replacement match for the season. So, I have high expectations for this one. They were, they were really excited to send it in. In the bottom, I'm sorry, in the top right hand corner, we have the Red Zerg player. Their name is Wolf Max. And in the bottom left hand corner, we have the blue Protoss player. Their name is Naughty Scotty. Looking real naughty over there with the Protoss piece, the blue Protoss pieces. We got a pylon on the low ground. There's. Okay, we're gonna wait till we have 300 minerals to put down our first gateway. But the gateway will be put down, which is the important thing in the end. Hatchery going down at 18 supply for. Wolf Max, looking to see a pool and a gas afterward. Question is which one? If we get a pool first, or if we get a gas first, it could be an aggressive opening. If it's a pool first, maybe the links are just for defense. Okay, pool goes down first, and where are we gonna get the gas? Okay, there we go. We are gonna get the gas, and there does not appear to be. Oh. 18 Nexus. Okay. Very cool. Where's our cyber core? We're gonna make the pylon first, but I think we need I think we need to put down a cyber core, naughty Scotty. And Scotty will put down the cyber core. Doesn't look too worried. Okay, another gateway. There's our wall. Now we just need a zealot to plug it up. Zealot does not appear to be forthcoming, however. Neither does the saturation on the gas. Zealot is on the way, so Wolf Max's overlord will come just in time to spot that the wall is complete. Oh, we're actually no, we're actually just gonna move it past the pillar straight into the natural. This overlord going this way. For reasons yet to be discovered. Second unit will be a stalker, so it will be a stalker to shoo away the overlord. If, and not an adept. So looks like Scotty intends to play a more defensive PvZ opening. Second gas on the way. Our second gas is already done. So probably looking to get some kind of a heavy tech build, maybe a stargate, or we're just going to pump stalkers out the entire time. Then again, this is Silver League, so builds don't necessarily- you can't think too hard about these builds. Um, Roach Warden will be finishing up, so we are going to go for Wolf Max is looking to get Roaches. Interesting Overlord placement. I, would, I, think, I think I would definitely leave the Overlord on the pillar over there, but... Whatever floats your boat, Wolf Max. Whoa. Like, can I just say, like, how cool the mines on this map look? Kind of a scam that these are gold minerals, but in the middle of the map, you don't have gold minerals. You don't even have, like, normal minerals. Instead, you got this pitiful ninth base on both sides of the map with just one gas and, like, only six mineral clusters. It's gonna be a Robo Bay, or a Robo Facility. Not Robo Bay, Robo Facility. Coming out of Scotty. More stalkers. So. Scotty likes stalkers, I guess. Yay. Evo Chamber. Coming up for Wolf. And Lair is almost done. So. We will see what Wolf Max does with this Lair tech. Third base finally down. It's a bit late. Considering the minerals that Wolf Max has, but hey, I mean, workers. I mean, getting more bases at this level is always better than not getting them. 
is fantastic, especially against the types of opponents who will just sit on two base for the entire game, try to max out, and then they move across the map once their army gets wiped out and they say GG and tap out. That tends to happen a lot in this league. Yeah, otherwise, nothing too particular happening this game. Both sides just completely content with sitting back, macroing up, plus one ranged weapons, and Roach Speed is on the way, or Wolf Max. Warp Gate Research has actually not yet been finished, which is significantly hindering Scotty's ability to pump out Stalkers, but another two more gateways just finishing up now, and Wolf Max has decided that they are going to drone up third base. Come on, you got... How many larvae you got floating? No queens. Um, okay, there we go. Queen injects. The energy on these queens has actually been quite low. So, and there's not really any creep tumors out. I mean, there's that one other queen that is presumably putting down creep tumors. So overall, impressive, um, impressive queen injects coming out of Wolfmax so far. I don't think they've really been missing anything. Okay, that queen, come on, inject. Come on, I know you can do it. What are you paying attention to right now? Inject the bases. Please and thank you. Come on. Fourth base that fourth base is being taken for Wolf Max. Okay. Finally injects. Before the next wave of larvae comes out. That's fine. So long as you don't miss I mean the in the injects don't have to be exactly on time. You just can't miss these uh you can't miss the larvae cycle, or else that's when it actually starts becoming a problem. Third base has been taken over here on Scotty's side of the map. 2-4 just going down. And a Twilight Council. So I'm guessing we're going to get Blink. Whether, whether Scotty can actually Blink Micro or not, is a question that is yet to be answered, but presumably we will be using the Twilight Council to get some upgrades for our gateway units. Plus one ground care base on the way for Wolf Max. Hatchery almost fourth base almost done. So and fourth base being taken for Scotty. Who is now who now seems to, who is not quite leading in workers, but seems to be Getting ahead in bases. I guess over, overall I wasn't expecting like anything crazy coming out of either player at the start of the game. Like I could... Okay, Hydrogen is done. We're gonna make Hydras. Oh, speaking of which... No upgrades on the Twilight Council yet. I, I'm not sure that Scotty realizes that his Twilight Council has been finished up and that you can actually get upgrades from this building. But plus one ground armor, ground attack on armor for Scotty. Overall, let's look at the army compositions. 21 roaches and four queens versus 21 stalkers, two stalk, two sentries and four mortals and a zealot. Yeah, I don't like how it's looking. If both sides just keep sitting back like this, then Wolf Max there are Scotty's gonna absolutely destroy Wolf Max in a frontal confrontation. Oh, that's not something you see very often. It is a hallucinated Phoenix from Scotty, who's gonna scout that there is a base over there and a base over here, and that there's a Roach Hydra army over here. That is not something you see very often. So good scouting for Scotty, who now knows what his opponent's army looks like. But the question is, was Scotty actually looking at the Phoenix when it died? Because, I mean, you don't have to be looking at it to know that there are bases, but you do have to know what killed the Phoenix. More gateways coming down. More immortals coming down. Plus two, gr plus two range attack and Hydra range for both max.
Yeah, I think both sides could really be moving out right now. Wolf, Wolf Max is maxed out. A couple more drones would be nice. 21 Hydralis on the way. So as soon as these pop out, uh, Wolf Max has got to go. He's he's gotten this. He has more bases, and fifth base is done. So it's now a five base Zerg versus a five base Protoss, which is not good for the Zerg. But at this, this at this level, uh, who knows if it will matter? Plus two ground weapons and armor being researched for Scotty. Now this is this is gonna be one of those games. Isn't it? You know what? Screw it. We're fast forwarding. Okay, there's there's actual army movement coming out from both sides. Creep spread not bad for Silver League in 11 minutes. And we are... Okay. Scotty no. Scotty does not know. Scotty seems like they were about to move out. But then they went back. And Scotty is about to realize that Wolf Max is, is parking his entire army in front of the fifth, in front of the vertical third base, the horizontal third base, whatever. And that Nexus will go down, and Scotty will move his entire o army over to do something about it. Problem is, those stalkers are not the best DPS against Hydras. These zealots, these zealots will do the most DPS, but they don't have charge, and I mean. They've got the upgrades, but the Mortal Stalker versus Hydras, the Hydras definitely do a lot more damage, despite being a lot squishier. Okay, the Hydras are too squishy. Looks like this entire army is just going to get cleaned up. Well, Max, you got to get out of there. Your, your Hydra should have speed by now. Could have totally retreated from this fight. Hmm. <laughs> So both sides have just traded out an entire army. Wolf Max is continuing to pay decent attention to his creep spread, which should now be, which is just broken onto Scotty's half of the map. No more drone production. So Scotty is going to take the lead in workers. And Scotty will finally make the decision to come over and kill this base that he scouted to the Phoenix not maybe five minutes ago. Hydra is coming over to defend the base and Zealots once again stuck this army from Scotty is being split up. So the Immortals in the front, the, the Immortals are the expensive units. They're tanky but they're also expensive. And the zealots do a lot. The zealots do a lot more damage to Hydras for the cost. So having the army split up like that means that Scotty's army will be cleaned up decisively. <laughs> I don't think you want to bring a sentry in there to clear a creep, dude. Over observer perishes. Creep continuing to creep over. Pardon the, pardon the expression. Now Wolf Nice is once again maxed out. Oh, we have a swarm host. I think that might have been accidental. Okay, Scotty finally makes a ton of zealots, which are gonna act, which are actually gonna manage to clean up a good chunk of the army from Wolf Max, but it's just not enough. There is Scotty is really outnumbered on the army supply, and zealots zealots do decent damage, and they're a good meat shield. But when there's nothing like Storm or Archons or a Colossi behind them to deal even more damage. Zealots on their- okay, here are the Archons, but now now they don't have anything to tank for them. Okay, the Zealots- more Zealots are here. Come on, you gotta- you gotta bring the Zealots forward first, or else the Archon- yeah. The Archons do excellent splash damage, especially against biological units when the Zealots are in front taking 
damage for them, but when the Archons are out by themselves, like, they're taking damage like this. Archons are super expensive units. You can't just afford to throw them away like you can throw Celts away. So, this army, this army from Wolfmax will be cleaned up, although just barely, and all the Archons will go down. Oh my god, look at how many warp gates are in this base. So, Scotty with a, Scotty with a, naughty Scotty with a, naughty such, not such a hot economy, I'm sorry, that was a terrible pun, but their economy not looking so hot anymore as Wolfmax, who has not been droning for the last good chunk of the game, is now taking the, arm, taking the economy lead with a huge mineral bank. I mean, just make Zerglings, just make a bajillion Zerglings, you, oh my god, you don't have to, I don't think he's been hitting his injection timings. Like, this queen's gone. There are no queens on- This queen hasn't injected. This queen hasn't in- Has injected? Yeah, that- That queen has injected. But, overall, just a huge ball of Hydras and Roaches is about to be introduced to Scotty in just a moment. And Scotty doesn't have any Archons. I mean, Scotty has so much gas. You just make so many Archons out of this. And this Roach Hydra Ball would not last very long. I wonder if he has Storm. He has 3-3 three, three ground upgrades, no Storm. Only now will we get Blink and plus 1 shields. And no Storm. And plus 3-3 three, three ranged attack and ground care base will be finished. Has been finished for a while for both Max. So both sides max on upgrades. Good. If one side was... If... Scotty wasn't maxed on upgrades right now, he'd probably be very dead. Okay, skipping forward a bit again. Let's see that the creep has finally reached Scotty's side of the map at around 18 minutes. Which is not bad. Now, means this army is going to be able to attack a lot quicker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wolf, I don't think you want to take that fight up the ramp. Mm -hmm. No. I don't think... Okay. The fight up the ramp was awful for Wolfmax, but losing the Archons like that was awful for Scotty. So now we have this... Oh my god. Both sides being caught with like some of their units being stuck dancing around the others. Like, look at this immortal New Zealand, they can't even attack. It will work out for Scotty, but they are still quite behind in army supply. Like, look at this. Look at this never-ending wave of Roach Hydra that is just being vomited into Scotty's side of the map. Scotty, you got you got five bases, man. You gotta make more workers. I mean, actually, if you make more workers, you can't really put them to work. Look at this base. You could put four more workers, three more gas, three more on each gas, make a ton of Archons, and... Oh, no. Pure Immortal is not what you want to use to fight Roach Hydra. Roaches may be Hydras, no. Army split up. <clears throat> not the best... Not the best angle is being taken from either player here, but Scotty is definitely getting the worst, the worst of it. This entire time, every time they've attacked onto Wolf's side of the map, their zealots and their or higher tech units have just not not been in the same place. So the zealots are wailing away on some workers, and they're not there to meet show for the more expensive, damaging but fragile units, like the Archons and the Immortals. I mean, Immortals and Archons are not like objectively squishy as far as their HP values go, but they're really expensive, so you can't throw them away, like I said earlier. <sighs> okay, now we are making Zerglings out of that. Are those speed? These are not speeds. We do not have metabolic boost. We are only now just researching Ling speed. But I don't think that's going to matter because yep, there's not a whole lot. Yep, this, this is... Possibly a very... I, I've said this is possibly a very dead Protoss player several times now. What is this rally? Are we rallying all of our bases to this exact point of the map? I guess we are. Okay. <clears throat> Scotty not going to take the awful fight up the ramp. Almost goes up the other ramp with zero clue what they're attacking into. Okay. Finally, we're actually going to take a good angle on this fight. This Nexus will go down. Scotty will bring the entire army over to deal with it. Zealots and Archons in tow. But I don't think there's a, there's too much hide. This is too much. You need Storm. You, you just need Storm. 
against Zerg. You need some kind of... You know, Archons are technically splash damage, but this is not enough units. You need Storm, you need Dis or you need Disruptors, or you need Colossi, but just Archons? Archons are a decent fighting unit, but they're not... They're not exactly huge on the splash damage component, and Scotty taps out. There's nothing left for Scotty, and after 21 minutes and 52 seconds of throwing Roach Hydra into Scotty's side of the map, Wolfpacks will be your winner of this game. Will be the winner of this game, I should say. Overall, um, resources lost. Wolfpacks has managed to be much more efficient. <laughs> Look at that one random swarm host death. And um, yeah, not much, cr no creep clearing. I mean, it's it's Silver League. You can't really expect either side to be super active on the map. But the creep, just the wolf. If, if ever Scotty attacks onto this side, onto Wolf Max's side of the map, the creep is just going to give him so much vision. <clears throat> this is free map vision so if you're scotty one of the things you got to learn how to do against zerg is occasionally you got to st st step your toes out onto the map and you got to clear some creep we lost a ton of like we lost almost we lost over ten thousand more resources on scotty's side when protoss really should be more efficient you can see that like the reason scotty was less efficient this game because it was because I mean, for starters, there were, there was no storm, there was no there was no AOA to do with these huge clumps of Zerg units, ever. And second, their army values were just so overwhelmingly in favor of Wolfmax every time that they fought that Wolfmax would lose units because these are less efficient, these are squishier, or they don't deal as much damage. But I mean. Scotty just never had enough units to decisively take any of the fights that he engaged in. So, yeah. Overall, I, to Scotty, I'd say against Zerg, you really need to. If you're gonna get a Twilight Council, you gotta gotta get charge. You gotta get blink. You gotta get something out of it that's gonna give you some value. Good uh, good use of upgrades. Uh, good use of uh, weapon. Or weapon and armor upgrades on both sides. I mean, decent production. Like, oh, this is a lot of production buildings. Honestly, this is so many production buildings that I don't even think Scotty could afford to ever fully use them all. So, definitely stop at around 16 to 20 gateways. I think, I don't even know how many this is. This is, this definitely feels like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18. 21 gateways. I think 12 to 16 gateways would have definitely been enough if you had three robos and you had to make archons and you had to get storm and all these expensive units. I don't think you could possibly pump units out of 21 gateways like that. Not off of five bases. And yeah. Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> in the injection, the, the in the inject larva timing really fell off for Wolfmax towards the later part of the game. Sort of compensated for it with all the bases that you took, but Wolf Wolfmax, you never really droned up. And I think if you droned up harder, then you could have gotten into more of these more gas expensive units. But at Silver League, hey, a moving uh, Zergling Roach Hyd Ling Roach Hydra into your opponent's army with three three upgrades is not a bad game plan at all. So congratulations on winning your placement match for this season. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. This has been a Silver League game sent to me on my Discord server. If you want me to cast your replay, you can set it. You can join my Discord server. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.